You got it. Alright, Salomon, Salomon. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace and citations to the elect. Um, this is uh, going to be an answer towards uh, Deontay Wilder's question that he posed in, uh, I believe, Sports 78 interview that he did, I don't know, probably about a week ago. Uh, towards the end of the interview, and we're going to be able to play a couple of clips, you know, he posed the question of why were we selected or chosen to uh, basically be uh, in captivity, you know, under these, under these conquistadors uh, or, or, uh, or, or uh, Europeans, okay, so-called white man, which goes back, nationality goes back to the Edomites. Why were we selected to be fed as alligator bait and just put in all types of all types of manner of, uh, of uh, unfavorable conditions? Okay, and he said that that answer will ne that that answer uh, there's no answer to it, but we're here to answer it, man. It's because we're the Israelites. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get you know some scriptures to back up you know what we're talking about. But if y'all brothers didn't have any uh, opening points. We can go ahead and play play a little bit of the clip, you know. So, what we'll we talking about? And Lord willing, we can post the uh, the actual video in the description. Okay, Khan. Uh, let me see. I'm a screen share. I'm a screen share. Oh, what I'm looking at. If I can, there we go. Screen share. I mean, there's nothing really to look at, but you know. Uh, Okay, so now, okay, so this is the video right here. Can y'all see it? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start back a little bit and then you let me know if that's where you wanna. Follow other guys. 
God and to go after them and forsake the Most High and His statutes and commandments, then, then this is what's going to happen. So can we go ahead and uh, continue reading, bro? What verse you at? Uh, verse 16. Okay. Yeah, then I'm going to feed then I'm gonna feed your babies to alligators. Then I'm going to serve you and sell you to other nations. Then I'm going to make you tremble before your enemies, uh, which are these heathen nations, man. Go ahead, Doc. God, it says, I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning uh, agu. That shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain. For your enemies shall eat it. Right, man. Right. And so we actually, as hard as it may be to conceive, we actually had our own land before. We actually had our own cities, our own kingdoms before, our own nations right. before. As far as a land that we can basically be uh, 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 governed, self-governed by them. Okay? Mm -hmm. We were a sovereign nation at one point. That's what we were, that's what allowed us to be able to perform the law. Okay, right. because there was no other nation, excuse me, there was no other nation that was over over us to where, you know, we could, to where they could tell us, no, you have to follow by our 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 laws now. See, the reason why the self-proclaimed white man is able to get away with this murder and rape and all these things he's been able to get away with is his land. He's, he's the one that's in control of America and all of the, the uh, 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 other countries that are governed um, uh, by the beast, that are part of the beast system, man. Okay? And ulti ultimately, he basically controls most of the world through his policies, man. And his embassies that he has in these different nations. And so the reason why we uh, have been sold into, uh, into his hands is because we didn't follow after the law of sex and that the most high gave us, man. Okay? Uh, go ahead, bro. It's Baruch chapter 1, verse 19. Since the day that the Lord brought us, brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt until this present day, we have been disobedient unto Yahweh our power, and have, not, and have been negligent in, in not hearing his voice. Wherefore, the evil cleaved, cleaved unto us, and the curse which Yahweh appointed by Moses his servant at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt, to give us the land that with milk and honey, like, it, like as it is to see this day. Nevertheless, we have not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh our power, according to all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. But every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart, and served their strange eyes, and to do evil in the sight of Yahweh our power. Uh, this is uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Nevertheless, Yahweh have made good his word, which he pronounced against us, and against our judges, that judged Israel, and uh, against our kings, and against our princes, and against the man of Israel and Judah, by bringing upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the things that were written in the law of Moses. So going back to like you said, bro, you know, he asked him why, man, you know, why are we going through this and why are we going through this? Because we were disobedient, man. You know, the Lord had, man, the Lord had told us, man, hey, <coughs> so like going back into the curse, you know, in Deuteronomy 28, man, if you follow, if you hearken unto my voice, man, gonna be the head you're gonna do this you know you're gonna have this and you know but if you don't then all these curses man gonna be innocent, man you know right. which Deontay Wilder man he 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 in the heat he he got the right spirit kind of man for before it's like asking him, why why is this happening you know because that's how we was before we came into this truth man you know as man why is it like this man we knew something right man but the Lord had guided us man to this truth you know and this can it, it happen the same way unto, uh, to him, man. You know, because Jake in the word, Jake just lost, man. You know, just for the answer, like it says in Roman, man. You know, what did Israel, uh, hey, him not found what he's for, man. You know? Right. Hey, I got, a, I got a precept to that. You know, you mentioned Deuteronomy 20, 28. I was holding something there, too. Um, so this is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 63. I'm going to start at 63. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. And you shall be plucked from the land whither thou goest who says it. You know, so the Most High, just, uh, just as uh, he liked, loved to uh, show us 
and uh, re uh, rejoice over us for doing good, you know, he's going to rejoice over uh, uh, destroying us because of what that's uh, the, what the script the brother read in the in, in Baruch chapter one, you know, because we were neg negligent, you know, and disobedient. Right. So I'm going to read verse 64. It says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one on end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the, uh, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and a sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night and shalt have no assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, would, would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart whether, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. You know, and that's the uh, overall uh, spirit that our people are in here in America, you know. There is no, there is no assurance of, of life, man. Our, there is no rest for our souls or our foot, man. Hey, I heard somebody say, man, it's a dangerous time to be a black man walking around in America, man. You know, and then you see the things that they've been doing to Ishikar. You know, these these curses is, is on our people, man. If these, like these brothers are talking about, man, if if these people, you know, Deontay Walter make, making all, and he probably knows. Like the brother I now has said, man, like just say who they who you talking about. You know who they who you talking about. You know why don't you just say it? You know because according to the scriptures, these these curses right here fit fit us to the T, man. You know we are those people that are going through all that. We and we know as uh, uh, Lord willing, we those men we know that why these things is happening. And you got it. time to be in the truth okay and so you better pick which side you you know you want to be on man if you if you believe that you uh are of the chosen then it's best to to act like it man okay or that you right. that you could be if you believe that you're called i'll say like that then then we ought to strive for for being chosen man um did you finish that uh, uh matthew in uh leviticus 26 uh, i was on verse 17 <laughs> okay can you read verse 17 please uh, this is Leviticus 26 and 17. I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain. And when the scriptures say, and when the scriptures say he will set uh, his face against us, basically meaning he, his, he's going to have ill intentions towards us. The Most High, he is able to to uh, to uh, to put uh, hell on us, just as easy as he can make us, as he can make it, uh, basically in a good situation for us, man. Okay, if you read uh, uh, First Samuel. But brother now, first Samuel two and seven, um, all the time. Okay, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. Okay, the Lord the Most High, the Most High put a put a a, a wicked spirit or uh, spirit of evil spirit on Saul. After he put the spirit of Most High, after he put a righteous spirit on him, he took that righteous spirit off and put a uh, evil spirit on him. Man. Okay, so the, the will of the Most High, man, to according to to basically our actions. Our obedience, how he chooses uh, to, to let us um, uh, operate, man. Right. You got it, bro. Uh, verse 17, and I will set faces against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemy. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall be. Mm -hmm. They that hate you shall reign over you. And who is those that hate us, man? Start with you, Edomites, man. Okay? You self proclaim white people. All the nations hate us, but chiefly you Edomites hate us the most. And we hate you the most, man. Okay? Oh, the book of Obadiah talks about how uh, how Esau had hatred against his brother Jacob. Okay? But see, we can hate you devils, but if you hate us and kill us, the most high is going to destroy you, man. You brother, get that in uh, Zechariah, uh, the third chapter. He that touches you touches the apple of his eye, man. Okay? Because we're the chosen people. We're not chosen. Matter of fact, can we play some more of that video? Did we finish the verse 17 already? No, uh, we got a little more. Okay. This is... okay. Let's finish verse 17 and we'll play some more of that video. Uh, Leviticus 26 and 
17, he says, they that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none uh, pursueth you. Right, man. And that's exactly what we're experiencing right now. That's why when you walk, when you go into uh, onto the, the, the white side of town, the, you know, the so-called white side of town, which is a bunch of, a bunch of Edomites that hate you, you feel like you're going to get lynched or some shit because even though they don't know you, they're like, oh, they're here. Here's a nigga. They go as an Israelite. You automatically hate them, man. They're, they automatically hate you. And if you want to write some fear, you'll hate them just as much. Okay? Because we know who we are, man. But two thirds of Jacob right. know who they are. So that's why they don't have a problem loving the person and the man that hates them, man. Um, uh, can we uh, can we get that um, some more of that video? Yeah, go on, Bubba, sure. Go on, I got you. Alrighty then, let's see. Okay. Samuel, okay, 
Okay, Samuel was getting was getting pissed off at our people who were desiring a king. Okay, when the scriptures say that Yahweh uh, is our king, man. Okay, Bar Shimi Yahweh Shai, because ultimately Yahweh Shai gonna is gonna reign uh, in the kingdom of, of heaven. Man. Okay, and so since our people cast that that whole picture away, now the Most High is pissed off, man. Now he's gonna go ahead and uh, well, shoot, he already did sold us into slavery, okay, multiple times, but this is the worst captivity, man, and so that's why you get uh, people like Deontay Wilder, you know, complaining and, and, and lamenting about the situation that we're in right now, man, which we're in that situation strictly because we went off, man, as a people, which one we, you got it, bro, you done with that precept, right, we can go back to the video. Sure. Okay, gone, uh, here we go.
Okay, Khan. Yeah, we'll go back to Like that's us, but that's mostly. 
living right there, the most I put that little plug that little part in their brain that was gonna get them get to connect the dots. Who said, nope, they ain't, you ain't gonna get that part. Even if I tell you, why? Because of the attention is to destroy uh, thirds of our people for their disobedience, man. Because we're telling them. Right. And you actively being rebellious, man. So because of that, like the scripture said, because they have forsaken me, I will also uh, 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 forsake thy children. Okay? Which is talking about when they come back in the reincarnation. Now that now they're perished for lack of knowledge. Because the scriptures talk about how a man is not going to, uh, excuse me, uh, well, yeah, a, a, a son is not going to suffer after the the the, the, um, the the sins of his direct father. Okay? But this is talking about when you, when you come in a, uh, in a reincarnation, which our people, another thing they don't believe in, reincarnation, they, they, they choke on that. But when you come back in a reincarnation, you're going to experience the hell that uh, that, that, that uh, most of our people are experiencing because we, we we don't know, we didn't know who we are, man. Even Deontay Wilder, as rich as he is, you know, sound, you know, laments, man. Okay? Why is that? Because because I, we forsook, you know, he forsook the most high, man. We all did as a, as a, as a people. But that's why we got to come back. Y'all buzz have something? Fun. Okay. So, uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 8 and 7, they the start them in the heaven nor their appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of your house. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, we'll, oh, boy, brother. Scott, you got it, brother? No, I was going to say, we'll, we'll see if Deontay Wilder comes in uh, and, and, you know, and watch the video. You know, I, I find it out. You know, we'll post, we'll post, the, we'll post the link on that, uh, on, that, on that channel right there in the comments watch the video man because if you want the question answered so bad you'll watch this video you know and then you'll know if you're not acting like you don't know but uh i wanted to address the scripture brother could you read it again or go break it down if you want okay i'll read it for you bro this is jeremiah 8 and 7 it says yea the stork in the heaven know her appointed times and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming but my people know not the judgment of your house right man so if these animals which have not been given the breath uh, uh, of life, so to speak, which is wisdom that comes from the, from the Heavenly Father. If these animals are basically acting from basic instinct, and they're able to tell essentially the future and 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 and, and use what what most people would call common sense, you know, this you know you got to go here during this time of the year in order to survive and mate and eat and all that stuff and come back to do the rest and then. And then and repeat that cycle. Nobody really had a talent, but just it's just innately in them to do it. However, when the Most High says, "Follow after me," you know, be uh, 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 obedient unto my will, then our people, that's not that's not. Then it becomes. Then they come up with an excuse, and they they reason within themselves to be disobedient. Man. How in the hell is a a, a bird going to be more obedient to the Most High without uh, the understanding of the Most High? Then, then somebody, a, a person, a human, who's been given the understanding, man. You see, it shouldn't be that way. It's a damn shame, but that's why we need deliverance. We need your house shot, man, because the, the wickedness that's been sown in our flesh uh, 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 is influencing us constantly to uh, uh, be contrary to, to his will, man. And we have to continuously fight that and resist, uh, the, you know, resist Satan's temptations, man. Okay? But, uh, yeah, we can go back to that video. Fine, I got you. Alrighty. Uh, and we'll let's... play till like we'll play till like uh till like an hour and twelve minutes. So okay. Maybe like three more, two and a half more minutes. Okay, con. Wall Street, we had that going, trying to make a living for our We don't 
have you said you said uh, why why did they choose us? They chose us because we were chosen. We were chosen by uh, 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 by by divine. You know what I'm saying? We we we're, we're divine people. So that brings jealousy. See what I'm saying? So when when motherfuckers go to Africa and they see these big monuments, there's nowhere else in the world. They see all these people, these people who got agriculture, civilization, a uh, business thriving and stuff like that. And they come in, they want to destroy that. That's why they took people and brought them to their land. They took the nation builders out of Africa. They didn't take no bums. They took nation builders. They took people who could help build their civilization. You know what I mean? And then they want to use words like civilized. And, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing ever, you know, ain't nothing civilized. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got it for you. This is Isaiah. Okay. And like I said, if y'all brothers got points, if y'all brothers got points, because, you know, the, the other Jake said some stuff, too, we'll get back to that. If y'all brothers got points, we can get into that. Okay, Khan, this is Isaiah 42, and uh, you said 16? 17. Oh, 17, okay. It says, they shall be turned back, they shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to the mo uh, molten images, ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf and right. look... Oh. Okay. That was the end of verse 17, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the reason why the reason why this was being brought out is because even though you may not see idol worship um, in the manner as how it's described in the Bible, in this passage specifically, best believe that idol worship is very prevalent in America. And the reason being is because basically uh, a self-proclaimed white man has made it so, man. Okay? And so these other gods that our people worship uh, are would be Jesus Christ, uh, uh, Muhammad, uh, name some other gods, you know, uh, the god uh, the god of uh, these uh, uh, Elamites, Washiva, and all of these other multiple different gods. In, in Hinduism, okay, the, uh, uh, Satan worships Satanism as an actual religion now too. Um, all all of this stuff man goes back to uh, uh, goes back to, to uh, perverting yourself before the eyes of the most. If you if you actually follow it after these ideologies, okay, because those are really the gods that um, that are worshipped in these days that were that were existed back then. Okay, they just had different names. But we worship, right. we worship, we know, we worship like Scripture says in uh, St. John the 4th chapter, man. But you people don't know what the hell to worship because you avoid understanding. Okay? Uh, uh, That's why y'all have these questions, these unanswered questions. Y'all brothers got a, got a point? Hey, I had a uh, priest up. Can you brothers hear me? God, God. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 1 and 3. This uh, it says, The ox know, knoweth his owner, and he has his master's crib. But Israel does not know, people does not consider. You want to speak on the pillow or you want me Thank you. Yeah, man, I mean, going into what the brother uh, Banayab brought out earlier in Jeremiah, I believe it was, our people don't know, our people don't know, basically right from left, because he's taking away that spirit of understanding and wasting it. Man. It's like you said all those things about how, yeah, you know, it, obvious that you know we're we're chosen uh, uh by the divine and that's why they selected us to be uh, uh the slaves and all that no no man we, we're yeah we're chosen by the most high okay and he's not you know jake's so scared jake, that's nothing man jake be tap dancing around the most high man they don't want to you know we try to be all universalist and stuff when you're talking spiritual stuff well if you're going to talk spiritual stuff you gotta be you gotta be true 
Well, I'm Spider Man. Okay. Right. If we if we saying okay, yeah, we you know it's obvious that we're the chosen people. Who was the chosen people in the Bible, man? Who is it? You know, we're defining Israel. Matter of fact, uh, uh, jump down to uh, uh, Isaiah 43 and one. Bob, should I read that real quick? I'll read it. It says, but now, thus saith Yahweh, pity thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. So, who are the chosen people? Who are the called people? Here's the chosen man. All we got to do is bring out that one scripture right there, and then it will be made plain to those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Okay? Uh, is a brother ready to read? If not, I can read uh, back in uh, Isaiah 42. I don't know who was reading that earlier. Oh, well, so I got it. Was, it was me reading the uh, point. Oh. John, John, did you have more on that, Sabah? Yeah, it's a little more on that. Okay. It says, uh, Our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they are forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to ang unto anger. They are going away backwards. Kyle, you got it, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he's, uh, he does, they don't acknowledge the fact that the Heavenly Father is the reason why the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in the position we in. You know, our people got a problem with the Heavenly Father because they know that the Heavenly Father requires it. You know, he requires order. And, and with order, it becomes, it, it becomes a responsibility. You know, Christianity doesn't give responsibility. Christianity, uh, it doesn't even have a, a accountability. Accountability. All you, all you got to do is to say, uh, Lord, I'm sorry, or repent. You know, I repent for sins that I did. And you can just do whatever, eat whatever, you know, live the, live the way you want to live. But, you know, uh, like Deontay Wilder, is that his name? He, uh... He, he, he's, he's in confusion to an extent, but I, I believe he knows, you know, I, I honestly believe he knows exactly who the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are. He just don't want to, he don't want to say it, you know? God. And that's the problem with Jake, man. Scared, you know? Like I said, tap dancing around the most hot, man. Um, who was reading Isaiah 42? I was. You want me to keep going on it? Yeah, can we drop down to verse 22? Oh, okay, I got you. This is Isaiah 42, verse 22. It says, uh, But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none deliver it. For a spoil, and none saith restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel? Now you finish that, bro. Oh, okay. Because it's all going into what we're talking about. Con, okay. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Uh, did not the Lord, he against whom he have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways. Neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he had poured open, uh, poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, uh, and it had set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Right, man. And that, all of that is really self-explanatory. This is extremely easy breakdowns going into exactly what we've been talking about this whole lesson, which is the reason why... Most High uh, allowed us to be in this position is because we we, we transgress, man. I mean, I don't know how many times we got to say it in one video for it to get through your head, all right? And it tells you about how, how uh, 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 hard-headed hard, hard -headed we are, man. Most High is saying, uh, uh, who among you will, will give ear to this? Who, which, which of you hard-headed niggas going to actually listen to us, man? You know, that's what the scripture's basically saying. <laughs> this is the scripture. Describe us. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. No, it's not, bro. I'm going to say that reminds me of the scripture. Uh, I can't remember where it is. It was like uh, 
basically like it's like a lovely song unto it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's, you know the word is like a lovely song unto the people, man. But they but they ain't gonna hearken unto it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's in Ezekiel or something like that, bro. You know? But that, man, that's our people, man. They, they it's a whole. You know, they say they love the Lord, man. You know, and all this stuff, man. But uh, really, man, they, they don't do nothing to, to you know what I'm saying to show they love, man. Love was an act word, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, hey, Jake, man, like you said, man, Jake want to tap dance around, uh, 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 you know, tap dance around, man, you know, man, you know, without just, man, just be straightforward, man, you know? Right, Con, Con, you know? And so, you know, I mean, really the point is that made his brother's support, I have some more precepts we can help. Um, and, uh, and like I said, if not, we can just close it out. Y'all brother got anything else to say? Any closing points, anything like that? Oh, matter of fact, hey, I got, I got this, bro. I got this one precept, bro. It's locked. This is uh, Ezekiel 33. It's 20, uh, in 32, it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one, of one that have a pleasant voice and can, and can play well on an instrument. For they, it says, for they hear thy words, but they do them not, man. You know? That's exactly like that's exactly, that's exactly how Jake is when it comes to this truth, man. You know, whether it be a Jake coming up to the camp, man, you know, or walking by, you know, uh, you know, form y'all shallow, you know what I'm saying, or coming up and inquiring, man. But you know, oh, I'll be back, man. You know how many times we done heard that? Oh, I'm gonna be back. You know, come back, man. Okay, it's like a lovely song. It sounds good to him, man. But when it comes down to it, man, they, you know, they ain't gonna do it, man. They're not gonna do what the uh, what the heavenly Father requires, man. You know. Kind. And the reason why is they turn their they turn their uh their back to the most high man. So since so since um since he's forsaken us, man. Uh since we forsaken him, excuse me, first, you know, he, he you know, forsaken us as a nation man. Um so yeah, uh y'all brothers got any any more closing points, anything like that? Anything else to say on that? Kind of, uh, hey, well, Lord willing, uh, you brothers are edified, man, with that. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to? Yeah, yeah I will. Baha Shem. Yeah, I will. Baha Shem. You talk with us. Talk with us. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And a peace and citation to the elect. Deontay Wilder, you're an Israelite. Shalom. 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 Shalom.